Rahul Dravid flipped the coin up. Rightly called by Ricky Ponting. And he decided to bat first. And these are the two teams. Three changes in the Indian team. The Indian skipper Saurav Ganguly failing the fitness test. Avishkar Salvi coming in. Harbhajan Singh coming in place of Anil Kumble. The Australians won the toss. The Australian left-handed couple was in the middle. Adam Gilchrist and Matthew Hayden. Let's go and join the action. Gilchrist tries it, gets through the gap. This will get out of the practice wickets. Harbhajan Singh has a lot of work to do and does it well. Good save. Not easy across the practice wickets. Oh, in the air, safe, just past the diving left hand of Hameen Badani there, and that was almost a breakthrough. It's one of their slowest starts of the tournament. Ajita Gaikar pitches it up, bows in, full swing, may have come off the pad, and that is an enormous breakthrough for India. Well bowled Ajita Gaikar, what a delivery this one, and he's brought the crowd to light. This is what the Indians needed at this stage here. Yeah. Break the opening partnership, and that's a slow delivery again, rolled by Agarkar. Played it a little early, Adam Gilchrist. And what a wicket for India. Look at the joy on Ajit Agarkar's face. Gilchrist gone for seven, 16 for one, Australia. The Australian captain comes to the crease with a very good record. So what Asian body is put down. BVS Latchman. And dropped again this time, Hayden. The trap was set, the field was placed, the ball was delivered, and the fieldsman hasn't. And I think that was VVS Latchman again. Well, he was uh, there again, VVS Latchman, but the batsman was different. The previous catch was Ricky Ponting's. This is Matthew Hayden. What is Vivian Lakshman doing here? What's happened to his concentration? That's the area he is so good in. That's the sitter. And this time the trap doesn't pay off. The fine glance beats leg slip. Australia now 20 for one. Genuine off spinner. Hayden pulls and is put down by Harbhajan Singh. And this will still go for four. Zahir Khan to Matthew Hayden, and Hayden drives in the air, here this time he's gone, that is a simple catch, that is a good piece of bowling, the two dangerous Australian openers have been dismissed, and the crowd are loving that, and Zahir Khan gets some reward, for well, some very good bowling, good field placement, Hayden trying to force it through the offside, and he should be happy because that's another very, very big dismissal. Matthew Hayden gone for 19, Australia 32 for two. New ball. Get the ball in the right place. Don't want to bowl there because that's what happens. Australian players will just lean on you all day and caress you to the fence for four. Again, yeah, beautifully driven. That's his favourite hitting area, Damon Martin. And sooner than later, the Indians will have to look to plug that gap. Played it nicely to third man. That's for... Boy, this outfield is so quick. To Glenn McGrath, but not that sort of bowling, though. McGrath would not bowl there. Gee, that's gone to the fence quick. There you can see spin, but the result is a four. This time beats the field, and this will be... Oh, will it? Yes, it's so quick down there, particularly when it gets on the practice wickets. Kartik chased well. Ah! Kartik well bowled. Just misses off stump. Oh, quicker sliding arm ball. Beautifully bowled. Well, that's a beauty. Did he get any bat onto that? Murle Kartik bowling extremely well, gets this one to turn and turn a great deal and by signaled. No. Uh, just too short and that is a poor delivery from Habajan Singh. He turns his back straight away. Almost as soon as he let it go, he walked back to his mark. 
Really good point. This time, I think he's got him. He is over the moon. And Ponding has to go this time. And Gungor is sitting on the sideline, just punches the air in delight. Crowd are going nuts. Sheds or no sheds, Ponding's got to go. Almost 23 overs. Kartik again. I think this is off the pad, though. Very excited, Murali Kartik. Off the pad, 112 for three. And unbelievable. This is Mr. Stumps and the keeper. Drove it there. A little bit more here this time. And out. Beautifully bowled. He's been sucked in here, Simons. And he's got to go as well. That is phenomenally bold. They've been keeping that long on position vacant just for this. And finally sucked him into it. That was a sitter. And Badani doesn't miss those. Attacking field placing here. Slip, Gali, silly point. They want a wicket here. Ball was in there. Into the gap. That's good bowling from Harbhajan Singh. Good thinking. Oh, another chance. Did it carry to the fielder? We'll come back and have a look. 137 for four. And he's looked very graceful, very authoritative. Stepping out, using his feet. That's a lovely hit. And that's gone all the way. It's in the air. Just clear the man. Oh, wow. But gets to the practice pitches. There's no looking back. Away from home. And in particular, Australia. Gone. It is all over for Damien Martin. He cannot kick on. He has been taken by Yuvraj Singh. And that is the breakthrough India wanted. And the well settled Damien Martin. Good wicket for India. Nice piece of bowling from Seva. Just dropping it short. It's not the kind of pitch where you can hit on the rise. The ball holding up just a little bit. And he's a bundle of joy. Seva strikes. Martin has to go. 61 hit to his name. 170 for five. Michael Clark, the new man in. And too short. And gone. Slice it. It's gone very fine indeed. That's four to Michael Clark. And brings up the 50 runs partnership. And Clark moves on to 36 of 24 balls. So they're finishing well. It's come out the middle of the bat. And that's the result. You could actually see it. That was a good view of where the ball hit. Which part of the bat. Yes, yes, yes. Short jab. That's the single to Avishkar Salvi. That was the last ball of the innings so 50 was gone Australia have got 235 for five Michael Bevan unbeaten once again 40 of 70 and uh, Michael Cloud the youngster very impressive with 44 runs of 28 balls but uh, in the end the Australians doing reasonably well and uh, it was some good effort by those two batsmen at the bottom two unbeaten batsmen and Michael Bevan incidentally getting a world record 65th unbeaten innings, the 65th not out innings for Michael Bevan. It wasn't great, so as a result, India will chase 236 runs to lift the TVS Cup. Shin Tendulkar, the genius, the little master, and he could hold the key of this game. And Virendra Sebal, back in for form with 100 against uh, New Zealand in the last game. Oh, next contact, and in the gap. This is a fast outfield. Three fielders getting around, but can't stop the ball. Boundary for Sival. India five without loss. I think there was a bit of bad to it. He's gone up and up in, and he's gone. One of the problems playing with these outer light pads is the inside edges carry and carry a long way. BVS Lakshman, the new man in. It's been a memorable ground for him as far as batting is concerned. 281 against the Australians in a test match. Feels for it. And it's fortunate. It's in the gap. And he picks up a boundary. Brad Williams isn't pleased. And he lets Vivius Lakshman know exactly that. Edge then, getting the gap again. 
That won't please Brad Williams, but will certainly get this crowd excited. Robin cuts. That is superb. Like a whip crack off the bat and travel about as fast as a speeding bullet. Good shot from Dravid. It beats the field, so that'll be four. Beautifully timed. Now that's unusual. A fielder diving and not managing to save the boundary. This might be another four inside edge on the pad. And Fickle has finished. Well, he's got one ball there, but it has not been a good over. Basically, keeps bowling that line. Four bowling. India on fire. Oh, beautiful stroke. Don't bother running for that. Sweetly timed. What we want to do is knock over this man. And Bolker like that. Well, the Austin can't really. That is a beauty. Look at Bickle. He knows it. Man, is he pumped. That is a great delivery, nipping back and taking out the off stump of Sachin Tendulkar. And the 100,000 crowd going in silence. Another youngster in the game. 21 years of age and has already played 80 matches, Yuvraj Singh. He is out there to face the music. Yeah! And gone, is he? The silent again because Yuvraj Singh has been dismissed. Right Trying to work around the corner and he has been caught at slip. Bizarre. It's a pretty confident lad. Right in the middle, he's gone. But this one, that's lovely timing. Absolutely majestic. Taken on the fold. He's picked up the gap also. That's four more. The second boundary of the over. Good over for India. Very wide, and it's been glided for four runs. First man to get 10,000 runs in this match cricket. That's a lovely, lovely stroke. What a earth stroke, right from the meat of the blade. That is champion batting. It's played it fine, it's gone all the way. No way Brad Williams can get back and chase that one. Michael Clark. Comes over the wicket, the sweep shot is up in the air, that's gone. Hemant Badani has been picked up by Michael Clark. That's another blow for India and the worst possible time. We were talking about how crucial and critical this partnership is. That they don't have too much depth in the batting today. Hemant Badani is walking back. This time, just a little bit more fly. And it's four. Good attempt by David Martin. Yeah! Oh, he's got him. He's chopped it on. Looking for his 50. Trying to work it behind point. Getting a thick inside edge and draw it disappoints. He's terribly upset himself. But Michael Clark picks up a second wicket. Goes for the big one, Ajit Agarkar. And he clears it by a distance. Oh, I've got to tell you, that is magnificent. What a time to hit one. Right out of the screws. That has gone a long way. A good flow of the bat. Watch the ball onto it. Not very big made, Ajit Agarkar, but he can hit the ball pretty clean. He's got the fastest 50 for India and 17 balls. Nicely struck. Has he found the gap? Yes, he has. Ajit Agarkar could be the man for tonight. And he's bowled him. Ian Harvey strikes. Ricky Bowling makes the change. And the specialist in the death overs has done the job. To point at the way things have shaped up. And he's got a glass bomb. Right into the block hole. And what a delivery to get first up. Ian Harvey, the man again. On a hat trick. And those faces say it all from India's perspective. Lovely little change up and through the gate. The feet don't go, but the middle stump does.
who got a hat-trick in a test match here in 2001, Habajan Singh. Is it going to be a Yorker? Oh! It is, but well, it's beautifully played. He's got a wry smile on his face. It ends a great over, two wickets in it, 186 for eight. And clean down the ground. And that has gone all the way for half a dozen. Well, he's got great ability as he thought it Picks up the length so quickly. And just keep an eye on his bottom hand. Uses it to good effect. Generates a lot of power with the bottom hand. 198 for 8. Harvey continues. And the slower delivery and he's gone. Harvey didn't sing. Goes into the shot a little too early. And Andrew Simons picks up a fantastic catch driving in front. And the Australians no, they're almost there. A disappointed Harbhajan Singh. Abhishkar Salvi is the last man for India. I would like to see Ajit Agarga have some more words with young Salvi. Walk down, say, just play the over out, give him some instructions. Let Ajit Agarga score the winning runs. They've got plenty of time. Their run rate's only four and a half and over. They don't want to give this game away just yet. Well... He spoke too early, talking about giving Agarka the strike. It's been Castle, and this is a win for Australia. Australia win the finals here at the Eden Gardens. They have picked up the TBS Cup. And this win over India by 37 runs. Celebration in the Australian camp. There it is. The Australians are the winners of the TBS Cup 2003. The match went. Australia batted first, scored a 235 for five of their allotted. 50 overs, Damien Martin batted well for his 61, Michael Clark got 44 of just 28 balls. So the Australians won the match by 37 runs and won the TBS Cup 2003.